Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. I am Saranya from Department of CSE, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today we are going to discuss about alpha beta pruning in artificial intelligence. Alpha beta pruning is the modified version of Minmax algorithm. This is the optimization technique of Minmax algorithm. Before going to discuss about alpha beta pruning, first we will discuss what is the problem in Minmax algorithm. Okay, here Minmax algorithm, we need to search or traverse all the possible path. Okay, it leads to exponential problem and time complexity problem. Okay, to overcome this problem, we are going to discuss about alpha beta pruning. Here pruning means we are deleting or removing the useless nodes. Okay, useless path, right? Uh, in this algorithm, we need to discuss two important parameters. One is alpha, another one is beta. Okay, here alpha represents highest value which means the best choice of the path. We are going to traverse that path. We are representing the alpha is minus infinity. Okay. Next parameter is beta. It is represent the best lowest value. Okay. Here the beta is initialized as plus infinity. We are uh, remembering some key points while solving the alpha beta problem right uh, here the alpha is updating the max player value and beta is updating only the min player value and one more thing uh, we should remember the alpha beta pruning algorithm it follows the depth first exploration method okay uh, in the depth first exploration method we are uh, using the backtracking technique okay in this backtracking we should remember one thing when we are backtracking the node the node value only passed to the parent node okay we are not passing alpha beta value okay we are passing only the node value instead of passing the alpha beta value okay when we'll pass the alpha beta value the alpha beta value can be passed to the child node only and one more important condition we are pruning the useless branch when we met alpha is a greater than or equal to beta okay when we are facing this situation we are pruning the branches right now we are getting into the working principle of alpha beta pruning uh, this is the two player game tree okay we are using two players one is max player another one is min player right the child node which means the leaf nodes are considered as a terminal node right already i said the max player will update the alpha value alone the min player will update the beta value alone okay so we are uh, initially started from the node a that is the very first move right so when we are starting initial step we can assume the alpha value is minus infinity beta value is plus infinity this is the first step right next uh, the same value can be passed to the node b and as well as node d right so next in the node d we have only the terminal node now we will start updating the alpha value and beta value now the node d is the level 2 okay in the level 2 we are updating only the alpha value why because this represents the max player okay the max player now how will update the alpha value which we want to check first okay in the node d we have a two child one is left child value is 2 right child value is 3 okay first we need to check the value of left child that is 2 with the alpha value minus infinity compare the minus infinity comma 2 obviously 2 is the maximum value first we will update the value for alpha that is 2 okay next come to the right child of node d that is 3 now compare the value 2 comma 3 obviously 3 is the greatest one we will update the alpha value as 3 okay understand uh, and one more thing once we are updating the alpha beta value next thing we should do updating the node value okay here the node is d we should update the value for node 
D, obviously uh, this will happen in min-max algorithm, right? So if you uh, learn the min-max algorithm, then you can understand how clearly how to update the node value, right? Now we are updating the node value for D, it, which is 3. Right, why we are choosing 3? Already I said this is the max player level, so we are always choosing the maximum value. Two things we did now one is alpha value we have updated, another one is uh, we have updated the node value d that is 3. Okay, once you completed the alpha value, next we are backtracking to the level 1. Okay, that is node B. Here, the node B represents the min player. Okay, what will do the min player? If we are in min player, we are only concentrating on the beta, right? So, now uh, we have only the subsequent node D because we are exploring that node alone. Okay, so now the node B have the value 3. We are updating the beta value is 3 right next come to the right successor of node b okay here we are passing the alpha and beta value to the node e right what is the alpha and beta value here alpha is minus infinity beta is 3 we are just passing the no alpha and beta value of node b to node e okay here check which value we need to update uh, for Updating the alpha beta value first we have to check whether it is min player or max player Okay, here the E is the ma represents max player. So which one we want to update obviously alpha Okay, for updating the alpha value what will do now we can check the left child of node E uh, Compare the minus infinity and 5 which one is the maximum obviously 5 now we are updating the alpha value as 5 Okay, now check the condition. Okay, that is your step 6. We are updating the alpha value that is 5. Now check the condition alpha and beta. Okay, already I told we have to face some condition, right? Alpha is a greater than or equal to beta means we no need to traverse the next successor or next branches. Okay, now we are pruning the right successor of node E. So far, we have uh, only one child for node E, right? That value is 5. Simply, we are updating the node value. Next, step 8. Here, we are backtracking the alpha and beta value from B to A, right? Because the B have two successor, we have completed that exploration, okay? Now, we are simply passing the alpha and beta value to the node A. Here node A it represents the max player. What will do now? We are updating only the alpha value. Uh, that is the important point. The key point you should understand. When the max player is there, we are updating the alpha value. When the min player is there, we are updating the beta value alone. Once we are updating the alpha and beta, next we are updating the node value. That are two simple step you have to follow for entire problem okay in the node a we are updating only the alpha value uh, so far we have only one exploration is there that is b the b node value is 3 we are updating that node value in alpha once it is completed we are moving on to the next step that is the right successor of node a right here the node a have the right successor that is node c Okay, we are simply passing the alpha beta value from node A to node C. Okay, so the node C have a two child. First, we will explore the node F. Okay, so what we'll do? We are passing the alpha beta value to node F here. Here, uh, the same step we, we did for, we did in uh, left successor of node A, right? The same step we are uh, going to do now, okay? Here the F have a left child that is a 0. We will compare 3 comma 0, which one is the maximum? Obviously 3, okay? So we are uh, not updating that is 0 here because alpha is already having the maximum value, right? Then check the right successor of node F that is 1. 
then compare 3 comma 1 which one is the maximum already alpha having the maximum value right uh, next so still alpha remains the same value that is 3 once alpha value updated what will do the next we are updating the node value right so the node value uh, will be obviously 1 compare the 0 comma 1 it obviously won. So, once this process is over, we are backtracked to the node C. Here, node C represent the min player. In this min player, we are updating only the beta value. So far, we have only one subsequent exploration that is node F. The node F have the value 1. Okay. So, this value can be updated to the beta. Okay. Now, check the condition alpha is a greater than beta. Okay, so no need to traverse the right successors, right? That we pruning happen here. Okay, no need to traverse the node G and terminal nodes of 7 and 5 also. Okay, we are saving the time for pruning the useless branches when we are checking that condition alpha is greater than beta okay once everything is over we are passing the alpha and beta value of node c to node a we need to update the node a also right so here we need to calculate the node a value uh, the node a have a two child b and c what is the value for uh, node b that is 3 what is the value for node c that is 1 compare the value 3 comma 1 which one is the maximum obviously 3 so the node a represents the max player so we are choosing the maximum value and updating the node value that is node a have a value 3 so now we found the optimal path for this given two player tree right so this is the optimal path the maximizer value is 3 so this is the alpha beta pruning procedure okay thank you